Hey everyone, I'm Valky Bryson, and I have just tried my very best to build up seven of the cutest possible Minecraft plushies, and today I'll be showing you how to build them up. Let's get started. Alright, so we got our first one here, which is going to be a little sitting dinosaur. It ended up looking a lot like the Pokemon Charmander. At least I think it's Charmander, I don't know a single thing about Pokemon. But anyway, it's this little dinosaur guy. I'll put it in his arms right there, and then we'll get in his little yellow belly. Now we can work on his face. And so there's one technique that I'm going to use for his eyes that I absolutely love. I think it looks super good for these cute type plushies. Which is pretty much where you place on the white concrete blocks and the black banners in front. And as long as you have a block hiding the other half of the black banner it looks super good and it creates these huge eyes we're also getting in his tongue using some string to hold up the carpet so we could kind of have it floating there which just leaves his back spines which is going to be our five cyan terracotta going across this whole back and his tail and that creates this little orange dinosaur and now we can move on to our next build. So I knew right away when creating all these designs that I wanted to have some kind of cat build. His cats are just way too cute. So we got this one here, which is a little cat lying on his belly. And so we got kind of the whole base layer done now. We're going to work on his head next. So we're getting all the blocks in besides the eye blocks. And that kind of wraps up the whole head. We'll leave that for a second to now go work on the body. And so this one section, I'm leaving those two blocks out so we could create a little bit of a divide between the body and the head. So it doesn't look so much like just a loaf of bread so anyway that's a lot of the body done i'll add in his ears and now his tail on the back creating this little curved tail by just going out a little bit and now we got his feet his little legs so we got the back leg front leg same on the other side the front leg and the back leg i think that's it for all of our light blue terracotta blocks now work on the eyes the same sort of thing as the last one white concrete with the black banners then we'll do something similar with the ears and get his nose in place and and there's our little kitty. Alright, so for this next one, I didn't want to just keep doing these little animals. I want to try to come up with something else. So this one is definitely something else. So we'll work on the body here. You can tell already it's not quite like a little animal. There's his arms and now his face. And this one is pretty funny. So we'll get in his face. It's a little bit weird. We got the black block that's going to end up being his mouth. And those are actually going to end up being his eyes. I'll continue getting in these green blocks, kind of filling up the rest of the head here. And now it's kind of a little bit more apparent of what it is. Adding in kind of the pupils, using a different eye technique for this one. And then just his little antenna on top. And there's a little alien in his own little outfit. I thought this was a pretty random one, but I quite like it. But anyway, back to the cute little animals, and this one is definitely a little animal. It's going to be our little frog, so we got the back legs already in place, and his front legs. And now we're adding in his little croaker. I don't know what it's actually called. The little thing that inflates when he croaks. So then we're putting in his body in the back, and now we can work on his face. We're going to kind of build up the same thing, leave some spots for the eyes, and fill in the rest of the body. And now we can place in those eye blocks just to make it a little bit more obvious what's going on. Oh, and there's actually a real frog. I thought that was pretty funny and just to finish up the top of his head doing this little design like that put in his pupils and there oh yeah yeah definitely can't forget his little tongue since he's a little frog and then yes yeah, that's that one all done but yeah, I saw this one guy jumping back here, so I just wanted to check him out. And then this pig comes up and just totally tries to get in the way. Just totally rude. Had to get rid of him. Anyway, on to our next build. Which is going to be a little whale. And this one I actually got inspiration from uh, pool toy I used to have as a kid. It was like this little pool toy, but also a stuffed animal. It could go in the water and it had beans in it and whatever else. But it was just this little whale. It was the cutest design ever. And so I wanted to try to kind of replicate that a little bit. So it was just this little round whale. And we got this little round whale on here. Getting in his tail. And that just leaves the two. Oh yeah, and the fin on top. And now it's just the two black eyes. And there we go, there's our little whale. So this next one turned out a little bit goofier than the rest. I was trying to create some kind of cute fruit, so I chose a pineapple. I like the way it turned out, but its little mouth and eyes make it look pretty funny. So there's actually its mouth block put in place, and the yellow box continuing up. I'm using this checkerboard pattern with the two different yellows to create the kind of, um, 
what is it, the, the prickliness of the pineapple. So we'll continue that up. We've got the eyes in place now using the same glass pane technique as on the alien. And now just continuing up, we're going to go all the way up into a green stem and just building up that yellow pattern some more, just filling it all in with the yellow concrete blocks. There's our last layer now, and so now we can work on the green kind of stem. I don't know what it would be called on a pineapple though, because it's not really a stem so much, more of a succulent type plant. So anyway, we got that in place using some green banners to create a little bit of texturing on it. Just adding in all eight of those. And there's our funny looking pineapple, kind of like a screaming pineapple or something. So this one is going to be really similar to our frog, same sort of body structure because it's also going to be a little hopper and that's going to be our bunny. So the same back legs and front legs put in place and now we're kind of going onto the body, building that all the way up to the front, but we're leaving this block open so we could use a slightly different gray for his nose and the little button to create the very point of his nose. And now we're building up the rest of his body as well as his face. So now, oh yeah, we don't need that block. We only want to build right here for his face. It's two eye blocks now the two black banners for the same eyes and this one has his little ears we're using some gray banners for the inside of his ears and that just leaves the little cotton tail on the back and there's this little chubby bunny so guys that is going to do it for our seven cute plushies thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one